A young minister came here the other day. We went to him because he submits to me. So we, we checked the way he spends money. Are you with me? I mean church money. The way he was spending the God keys people that spend money like that. You know me, I say it the way it is, so that when I sleep, I know I'm not owing any man. If I don't wake up again, I'm in heaven. God keys people that spend his money like this. In 2006, when I came to this town, my salary was 320, 330,000. Think of 2006. Think of the value of the Naira. I was earning 330,000. Guess where I was staying? I was staying in Wadata among thieves. Every month I took salary, I could pay my house rent every month. So it was four times lower than where I should be. I was staying among thieves. I asked one of our pastors to drive that pastor to show him the houses I stayed in this town so that he will know that our call to ministry is not a call to be a burden on the people that we preach to. So when you think of your life, you think of the people that you are preaching to, you are not called, you are not in his service. They showed him the shanties I stayed in with my golden woman. The shanties. If it rains, rain will, ma will manipulate its way through our sitting room, we will coordinate it, it will flow out through the kitchen. This man talking to you lived like that for four years. The reason why thieves did not visit the house was because we were praying in tongues every night. Aike Kobe, Kaboroki. That was a repellent for, for thieves. Tongues. Those days I was on television on Saturday, NTA on Saturday, 6 30 in the morning. So one day I was washing my car. And one guy passed. When he passed, he stopped. He came back. He looked at me. I said, any problem? He said, no problem. He said, you look like someone that preaches on television. But that person can't stay in this area. I said, okay, when you find the person, let me know. <laughs> I was right in the shanties. Yeah. I married into the shanties. I had money to rent the best house in this town. But I did not come here to compete with anybody. I came here as a missionary. And if you're a missionary like myself, you will, cost your, you will cut down your personal expenditure so that you can have money to invest in the kingdom of God. That's the life I've lived till today. The reason why I can do that, the reason why money is small in my sight is because God is with me. That's my true wealth. God. I was on my knees when God spoke to me. I said, ah, didn't you say you wanted to build a school for your wife? I said, yeah. I said, start. I said, there's no money. Say, start, start. So I went and liquidated everything I had in the bank. And I gave to the engineer. 11 million did not couldn't bring the foundation from the ground. 11 million couldn't bring the foundation from the ground. That was where God taught me how to live by faith. That you can build a building without any money. My wife's school was the training I received for this project. Anyone that is working with God will have a history of how God has moved you, how you moved in faith how you moved in grace, how you moved in power, the things you suffered, your consecration before you were promoted. If you don't have any story, you are a scam. 